was a top class racehorse, amazingly consistent. If he can reproduce that, then people would love to breed to him to race. And here comes Tonalist on the outside to take over the lead. Tonalist is in. I've been in the business for 50 years, and he's clearly the best horse I've ever had. The horse danced every single dance. When you look at his record, he ran in every serious race against the best horses in the country. Off the rail and making his move, and they're into the stretch, and the judge... He never missed a beat. The fact that he never missed one of the top racers as a three-year-old, he never missed any of the top racers as a four-year-old. It's very rare, you know, it's very rare to be a Van Ossu who can keep that kind of uh, career two years in a row. People don't understand how fast and coordinated he was. He got stopped three times in the Jockey Club Gold Cup and recovered. Then he had to go inside, he had to go outside, and he still got up and won. He's riding totalist to another win in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. We all know that he was a very good racer. He was very consistent. You know, he just did not do like one good race. He, he had a remarkable career, consistent. Well, I think his pedigree is very strong and very interesting. Looking at the top side, you've got Pulpit, you've got Tappet, you've got AP Indy, and they've all been pretty much sires of sires. Bottom side is Pleasant Colony, which is so strong, and that female family is very, very strong. Tappet is going to be a sire of sires. And Tonalis is his best bred son and arguably has about his best racing record. When one of the reasons is, you know, you want the grade one at a mile, so he had enough speed to be top class at a mile. Uh, he won the Cigar mile, he finished second in the Met mile. Um, he won the Joker Club Gold Cup twice, mile and a quarter, and he won the Bamman Stakes at a mile and a half. Not many type it won grade one from a mile to a mile and a half, and he's probably the only one. It was his last race, the Cigar Mile. People had said not to run him, and we were gonna prove that he was fine and that he could run a mile again. And coming out of the turn into the stretch, he's last. And I'm, I'm saying, I can't, this is terrible, I can't breathe. And bang, he goes right to the lead and wins it. He had a tremendous turn of foot at a classic distance. I don't think we ever saw his best race. Um, he was perfectly sound when he retired, and we could have gone on and done that. So if you breed to turn at you know you're going to breed to a horse who uh, can give you a career more than just one good race. I think if you're going to be commercial, uh, it might be helping to get that better looking horse. Yeah.